So now I'm on the train to Lok Ma Chao, one of the border control points that will open today. Uh, as you can see, I'm a bit sleepy right now because it's only 6.45 a.m. in the morning. But many of the passengers, they are carrying their luggage, so it seems they are going back to the mainland as well. Mainland China has finally reopened its borders with Hong Kong. For the first time in almost three years, Mainland authorities are allowing people to enter and travel around the country quarantine-free. But there are still certain things to do before you begin your trip. Non-mainland residents must first register online before entering mainland China. Each day, a quota of 60,000 people are allowed to cross the border in each direction. Each journey must also show a negative result of a COVID test done within 48 hours of their entry to the mainland or to Hong Kong. So now I've just arrived at Long Ma Chao Station and as you can see the immigration checkpoint is right behind me and there are already flocks of um, travellers uh, getting across the border so it seems it's going to be a busy day. Long queues formed as people waited for their documents to be checked but overall the whole process was pretty smooth. All you need to do is show your registration and negative test result to the staff. Everything else seems pretty much the same as it was in pre-COVID days. After crossing the border, the first thing you see are people in costumes welcoming tourists ahead of the Lunar New Year of the rabbits. There were also plenty of families and friends longing to see their loved ones again. Uh, Lingo 我的恋爱,我的婚礼,他都没有办法来参与,就很遗憾。It <笑> was certainly a joyful day for families and friends to reunite. But on the other side of the mainland city of Shenzhen, the impact of nearly three years of travel restrictions remains. Right now I'm at the Luohu port. This port is still closed because it's under construction. Here is very different from Lok Ma Chao, as you can see. Um, basically no one is here. And behind me is a huge shopping mall next to the port. Uh, this used to be a very busy shopping uh, district because it's right next to the port. And I just had a walk inside and basically all the shops are closed. Now it's about 11 o'clock, but uh, none of the restaurants are open. Escalators are not working. Uh, the mall is basically dead. So um, just looking at, in, at the inside, you can really imagine how hard the closed border has hit these small businesses. After a quick half day trip, I had to hurry back to the border because my COVID test result was only valid for 48 hours. If I stayed after my test result expired, I would need to do another test again in the mainland before going back to Hong Kong. My trip has been pretty smooth until now. Uh, right now I'm planning to return to Hong Kong and in order to go back you have to first fill in a health declaration form. But the problem is in order to fill in the form, the only way is to scan a QR code using WeChat. Uh, the other app doesn't work. So if you are a foreign traveler, you don't have any data on your phone, you don't have WeChat on you, it could be quite difficult for you to fill in this form. Uh, the staff here will try everything they can to help you. They will share the data for you to download WeChat or to, to get access to the QR code. But um, the weird thing is that they do not provide any physical paper uh, declaration form even though they said so on the poster. So um, right here at the back, you can see a lot of elderly citizens. They're struggling with their smartphones. Um, I consider myself quite tech savvy, but uh, it still took me around 15 to 20 minutes to complete this declaration form. So it, it could be better. 
There was something surreal about traveling again after the end of a zero COVID policy that was in place for about three years. So when I took out my ID card and crossed the border, I definitely felt a bit of excitement. But more importantly, I think, is the fact that now people are able to travel freely again. They are seeing their families and friends and business contacts and making up for lost time.